Hey, hello again! In this lecture, you're going to learn about built in functions in Python. Actually, you already saw some built in functions already, like type 10 will uh, give you the type of value 10, which is an integer. Now, type is a Python function, so the syntax of a function is the name of the function which has been created, has been defined by the authors of Python, those who have developed Python. And then you have brackets, and inside brackets you have the input of the function. So the function takes an input, which is 10 in this case, and it produces an output, which is class int. And you can get a list of all available built-in functions in Python uh, using this expression. So you use the dir function, which is yet another function, and then you use a double underscore built-ins, double underscore, and then close the brackets. Execute. You can ignore these for now. These are types of errors, so which you don't need to know for now. You can also ignore uh, the things with underscores up here, and start from here and down, so from apps. And here, all these are built-in functions, and we already saw type, and we also saw print, which is somewhere here, the print function, the type function. There are other functions as well, we, you, you, which you can try, like length, len, we tried len for strings, it gives you the length of a string. Uh, in this lecture, I'll um, explain you the float function, the str function, and the int function. This uh, may become very useful and control L to clear the console. The int function, what it does is it converts a value, like, let's say a float from a float to an integer. So you see that from 8.5 you get 10. Even if it's 10.6 uh, you get 10. So this is not a rounding operation. For round, you need to use round 10.6. And that will give you 11, which is the closest value, the closest integer value to 8.6. So see the difference between these two. And you can also use float to do the opposite. So if you have 10, it will give you 10.0. So the float version of number 10. And you can also use int for strings, like, let's say, 100. It will give you 100. So, if you know why this is uh, useful, well, if you have a string somewhere and you want to do a mathematical operation, like that, so you see that this basically is equal to 100, plus 100, you get 200. Similarly, you can use float like that. And you get 100.1, which is basically the same as 100.10. And then you can use str to convert from integer to a string or from float to a string. <laughs> Let me print out these built in functions again and give you a task, an exercise that you can do. So you see all these functions here, you can try this out and you can ask Python for help to show you what a function does. For example, you can do help len for the length function. And you see that uh, this returns the number of items in a container. A container might be a string, as we did previously. Press Q to exit this. So Q. And yeah, try to use any of these functions to get familiar with the syntax of a function. That's about this lecture. I'll talk to you later.